friends, Archangel here. So I hop on the internet today to do a few things before work, and a headline pops up from the USA Today. Target's trophy t-shirt draws sexism claims. Essentially, Target is selling a t-shirt to females that says trophy on it. And now people are claiming it objectifies females and makes them seem disposable. Okay, really? So, <laughs> I don't have to spend too much time on this one. First, it is simply another opportunity for the vaginisty agents to get the spotlight on them, to exacerbate the shame that they lay on the general public already in order to tighten their societal grip and force further concessions and entitlements for females, essentially to further the oppressive victim narrative. You're doing us so wrong, just give us more stuff. But let's break it down. Trophies are prized. Trophies are cherished. Trophies are placed on a pedestal to be admired by house guests. Trophies are what males labor and work their hands to the bone to try and earn. Trophies are what Joe Bob rushes back into the burning house to retrieve over the family album. Trophies are treated to leisure and the utmost respect and adoration. People don't traverse hell to earn a trophy, then simply use it as a toilet paper roll holder. Trophies are not disposable. Please, really? Nobody wins an Oscar and uses it as a paperweight or a letter opener. Nobody sees their Olympic trophy as a disposable piece of gold or silver. So trophies are pampered for one. And for two, these vaginisty hordes are angry at this t-shirt because it shows the cards that females are holding. It is the truth. Females are the carrot held out on the end of a stick, which keeps males chasing, pampering, coddling, placating, and protecting them. Females as the prize is why our current civilization exists. Do you acknowledge our current civilization and way of life as existing? Okay then, you admit the females as a prize paradigm, which has brought us to this current point. Females as trophies, as divine prizes, is why males continue to dispose of themselves and each other for a chance at the female prize of attention and validation. Females wearing a trophy t-shirt is about as honest as they can be to males. I am superior. I am entitled. I am to be worshipped and held above all else. Oh, and I am beyond reproach for my actions. You can't punish a trophy. This t-shirt is truth, and they are pissed that the female dirty laundry bag has been thrown onto the ground for all to see. So they twist and throw out some diversion about how it objectifies females, blah, blah, freaking blah. Funny how females use objectification for every objection they lodge, when they objectify themselves as goddesses, maternal providers, and fragile flower petals in order to invoke male utility and ultimately male death. Yet they complain about the objectification they necessarily invoke to compel such entitlements as a smokescreen. Females get to have their cake and eat it too, yet they complain about eating their cake so you won't realize that they enjoy getting and eating their cake at your expense. In fact, they feel entitled to do so. They love getting their cake and eating it, but they don't want you to know that. You know what I'm talking about. The female that paints on her spandex, then bends over obviously while doing the stair stepper right in front of you at the gym, when there were a hundred other stair steppers available that were not right in front of you. Then, she gets all indignant and insulted when she purposefully catches someone looking at her body. Funny how gynocentrism hijacks everything. Target announced cutting thousands of jobs back in March, but I sure don't remember hearing anything about that. Oh, but some entitled eater gets wind of a t-shirt that gives away the female narrative, and I can't get to my bank's website without some news pop-up telling me of this terrible travesty, like Armageddon is around the corner. Oh, trophy objectifies females. Please. It mocks males and further endorses male disposability. This endorses male competition, which creates discord and violence between males as they backstab and abuse their brothers trying to get a leg up on them while running around the track chasing the female lure. This saying doesn't cause degradation of females. It flat out announces male disposability with shameless impunity. Come on. For one, trophies are treated better than the people who slave through torments to earn them. And B, quite simply, it's the truth. Females see themselves as superior trophies, and in fact, they peddle themselves as objects of beauty, fragility, or maternal divinity. Females objectify themselves. Did you grasp that? Females objectify themselves, and they have to in order to invoke male utility and protection. Of course, these same t-shirt censor do-gooders do not care if anybody objectifies males. 
as what? Has human wallets, shovels, bodyguards, ATM machines, handymen, janitors, pincushions, and disposable utilities. This is not the first time Target was under fire for female apparel. I recall a line of gyno wear from a company called David and Goliath with t-shirts that proclaimed such sayings as Boys lie, make them cry, and boys are goobers, drop anvils on their heads, and boys are stupid, throw rocks at them. So I wonder, if they marketed a t-shirt to males that simply said tool on the front, how many would have a cow about that? Oh, hell no. That's not objectification. That's humor. Because that's the truth. Males are tools. Shovels. Utilities. That is, until we shovels walk away and leave these sniveling, whining hypocrites and their white knight mangina enablers to wallow in their own waste. They say objectifying females as trophies makes them seem like inanimate objects to be owned, not beings with rights. Really? And objectifying males as utilities doesn't? My friends, stand with me, live free.